completamente destruidas. In a country used to earthquakes, nobody's ever prepared for destruction on this scale. Ellos han proporcionado a una menor de edad. Rescuers desperately try and free a small child from the rubble. For the anxious crowd standing by, it's good news. She's free. But not all searches are proving so successful. Rescuers calling out people's names in the hope of some response. The small coastal town of Pedernales, in the northwest of the country, was one of the worst hit. Residents slept outside, fearful of more to come. Rescuers are doing what they can with limited resources. The town's mayor has called for more help. This woman says the third floor of an apartment block collapsed on her family. They are all there, my family, my sister, my children. My God, may the help arrive. They must rescue them from the rubble. My God, my children. The death toll is still expected to rise as rescue efforts get underway. 10,000 troops and 5,000 police officers have been deployed to affected areas. The capital Quito was more than 100 miles from the quake's epicenter. But even here, supermarket shelves rattled, sending bottles flying. The power in some parts of the city was cut, causing people to panic, unsure of what was happening. When the quake struck, President Rafael Correa was on business in Italy. He cut short his trip to fly home immediately. This was the worst earthquake to hit the country in decades. The president's called this a national emergency and urged Ecuadorians to stay strong. But some of the poorest parts of the country have been the hardest hit. As people continue to look for their loved ones or grieve for those who've died, the fear of aftershocks still remains. Katie Watson, BBC News, in Quito.